Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy. And today, yesterday, <laughs> uh, there was a the official multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Vanguard. And uh, <clears throat> everyone and their dog, that's a you know, content creator worth their salt in the COD community, has done a, an explanation or a breakdown or something covering that. And so rather than doing another, hey, here, let's look at this thing you've already seen and talk about it, I decided let's uh, jump into two games, Call of Duty World War II, which is Sledgehammer's game that they made before Vanguard, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is the engine, an enhanced version of that, and the engine that Vanguard is built on, because Vanguard is going to be a mashup between Call of Duty World War II and Modern Warfare. So I am actually quite excited for this new Vanguard game, despite it being World War II. Uh, let's... Uh, I'm a level 5, because if you guys saw my previous video I did on Call of Duty World War II, uh, it was talking about Vanguard, and now it's official, so I'm not a level 0. Uh, but I don't, still don't know if I'm going to bother going through and updating any of this stuff, because I just want to jump into a game. So let's just hop into a match. Horde point. Hold the horde point and kill zombies. What? Wh what? Is this a thing? Alright, I wasn't planning on jumping into this, but... I'm gonna! Supply drops. Oh, more loot boxes. Got it. Cinnamon swirl. You want some of that cinnamon swirl, girl? Horde point. Okay, so I don't know what this is. <laughs> so, th it's a good place to talk about that there is going to be zombies in Vanguard, although, from what I've heard... Treyarch is going to be doing the zombies, which is, honestly, it feels like everyone's kind of doing what they're best at, in that Sledgehammer is, you know, just, whatever, putting together the assets. Um, but, um, we're going to snipe zombies? Oh, is that, that's probably not a good idea, huh? Um, Raven's handling Warzone, Treyarch's doing zombies, and then Sledgehammer's doing the core game. Um. Which is a recipe for a positive outcome, if you ask me. So what am I trying? We're trying. Okay. So we get to the hard point. There's no doors in this game. <laughs> There's enemies. Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! People. Hard point locked down. So it's going to be difficult playing this game thinking about Vanguard, which is built on the Modern Warfare engine, but it not being on the Modern Warfare engines. So there's no tax sprint, mounting. So you fight enemies and zombies. That's... That's... This... What a cool... What a cool game mode! I'm... What the hell? Where are you? I need a bigger magazine. These zombies hit like trucks. Oh god, Jesus! <laughs> I got freaking surrounded. Molotov cocktail is a kill streak. <laughs> All right. Well, that was ill-advised to say the least. But oh man, walked right into that. Okay, I'm just kind of like geeking out. I'm like, I uh, need to pay attention to the game. All right, here we go. So yeah, I mean, they're gonna come up. So they've. Talking about, like, novel uh, gameplay modes, they have talked about having different, essentially, what did they call it? Gameplay styles. Uh, they had a word for it. Um, where there's, like, tactical assault and, like, blitzkrieg, which affects, like, the respawn rates, the size of the map. So, like, the... The Blitzkrieg mode is going to basically turn, they say, like, every map into shipment, which where I'll be small, with fast respawns. Is that a enemy? No, it's not. You know, small with fast respawns, and then, you know, tactical is going to be larger. 
slower respawns. Which could be really interesting for, like, what your playstyle is. Because I always hate shipment. But if I was the kind of person who loved shipment, <clears throat> then being able to basically play every map as shipment would be kind of cool. Oh, that was an enemy, goddammit. You know, turn a portion of every map into a little shipment map. I mean, that'd be... And it could be for, like, completing challenges. Stuff like that. Really cool for, like, turning up the... What do they call it? Combat pacing? Maybe that's what they called it. So, yeah, this could be very interesting if Sledgehammer is kind of, like, gonna have a reputation as the creative studio. God, zombies. Whoa! Oh. Walk into my grenade. Oh, did he? Did he walk into my grenade? <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Fantastic. I need more bullets. Oh, oh, God. Shit. I was like, oh, they moved the hard point. I was going to put the Molotov on it. All right, so we're getting fucking blown out. <laughs> but this is fun. What the hell? This is so fun. So, yeah, we'll see what Sledgehammer does with the game modes and the support. But let's just say they've got a good engine to work with. And, uh, yeah, it'll be good to see another year of gameplay on the engine. That means another year of next-gen development on the Modern Warfare engine before a mod, hope you know, should be another modern Modern Warfare game comes out next year. Oh, did the enemy come in behind? God damn it. All right, so this gun is <laughs> not the best. You say, what's up, whites? <laughs> Did, are these people? Do these people actually know the hard point cycle in World War Two? God damn it! The World War Two faithful play. Guys, fuck off! Thank you. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> God. I kept trying to tax sprint out of there, but there's no tax sprint in this game. Enemy holds the hard point. Yeah, the, the co I'm sorry, I just... Between the networking as well as just kind of the movement in the gameplay, I just, I did not like the Cold War engine at all. As you guys are keenly aware, you've heard me talk about quite ad nauseum. Enemy recon aircraft in Wow, that guy's a level 400. I am not... Oh, got me with the hammer. <laughs> with the hammer. <laughs> oh, I, yes, I'm not a level 400. Uh, they're going to be doing the full Modern Warfare attachment system. Which, for World War II purists, of which I am not, I can see where that would be kind of weird, having, like, all kinds of crazy attachments that didn't exist for World War II weapons. But, for me personally... I think that's going to make it less World War II-ish and, and, and could be, you know, fun. So, stuff to unlock, stuff to customize, <clears throat> and the developers in the video that they released yesterday uh, were very straightforward and direct about the fact that they were not, they were going for fun <laughs> and customization over realism. So, all right, I got very little time in the hard point, got lots of points, not as much as level 400 guy, 55 zombie kills. Man, that was good. That was good fun. Uh, can I can I exit, please? So that was good fun. All right, so let's jump over. <laughs> I mean, I feel like maybe that wasn't a fair <laughs> uh, gameplay for doing for World War II, but hey, fuck it. Like that was great. All right, so let's jump over to Modern Warfare. So they also released. Uh, I don't want to say a teaser, kind of an early look at the new Warzone map, which is going to be set on an island in the Pacific. As someone who doesn't really play Warzone, that is neither here nor there for me. Might be exciting for you. So here's the part where I put in Modern Warfare, and it tries to trick me into selecting a different game. <laughs> I have now officially pre-ordered Vanguard on the PlayStation digitally, so I did a digital... 
headed a digital pre-order. Oh my god, I know. But I just, I don't know, like, I've seen a lot of people hesitant about this game. And a lot of people digging on the fact that it looks kind of like Modern Warfare, but in World War II. But honestly, that's the biggest selling point for me. And and it's got a campaign, and since Battlefield isn't going to have a campaign, it might be good to have a shooter that has a campaign this year. Um, well, let's do the N94. AK-47. So this, we can do a hybrid optic that's not thermal. Integral hybrid, all right. Should we run hardpoint just to make it sort of fair, even though there's no real analog here? All right. So even though I don't really like hardpoint, <laughs> we're going to jump into hardpoint here. Uh, just so it's analogous to the horde point from World War II that we just played. Which was, man, again, what a what a cool idea for a game mode. It's a multi competitive multiplayer game mode with zombie. Anyway, nerd now. So yeah, the I for those of you who have been around, you know that I am all about modern warfare and not so much about Cold War. So the fact that I'm curious how early the decision was made or why it was made to put Vanguard on the Modern Warfare engine, but it was the right decision. Whatever Treyarch did did not work. Their net code was shitty. Their overall gameplay was uninspiring. The weapons felt like paintball-y, it just, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it being built on the Modern Warfare engine. The weapons feel more significant, the movement just feels better, the game just looks better, and now it's even upgraded for the new consoles, higher resolutions, ray tracing, uh, there's some limited destruction, so they've built pathways into maps through like destroyable walls and panels in the floor slash ceiling, so... It'll be interesting to see how they balance all that and how it all works together. They've also openly said that they know that they've got a shit ton of attachments um, in the game. <laughs> and uh, they know that it's going to be a trick to balance it, but they're committed to balancing it. So, I mean, that's that's good just to hear them be like upfront about it. Like, hey, yeah, this is going to be tough to balance, but we're going to put the time into it. Wow, that was... Fucking sweaty. Hey. Oh. Fucking sweaty tryhard, bro. Did this guy go upstairs? Where did, where, where did Captain Juke and Jive go? <clears throat> oh shit, I have throwing knives? Where are my frags, yo? They got blind fire on the mounting. They've got the ability to move while mounted. So there's there's some additions. Like it's Modern Warfare Plus, you know. So I'm looking forward to an enhanced Modern Warfare gameplay instead of just you know here's here's more of the same. Yeah, let's use the magnified for a second here. What the fuck? How did? All right, whatever. Where the fuck did that guy come from? Uh, Ugh, these integral, these hybrid optics, I have never been a fan. Probably never seen one in my video unless I was specifically doing a challenge. <laughs> There's a reason why they're trash. They are not versatile enough. What, teammate? Not versatile enough to justify the, the fact that they're giant and slow and shitty. No, no. God damn it. I fucking have I mentioned that I don't like hardpoint. <laughs> hardpoint is always good. God, tryhards versus randos. I'm always with all the randos, and then all the tryhards get on one team, and they all know the rotations, and they all use compatible equipment. Like it's the way to play, but I hate it because I never have that squad. If I had a team that I ran with on the regular. That, like, that knows the rotations and is instantly on the point when it rotates. I'd probably really enjoy hardpoint. But I don't, so I don't. To figure out how to tactically approach an entire team playing together. God. 
fucking fuck. Yeah, we're gonna get stomped again in another hard point. Didn't even require zombies this time. But anyway, it's serving the purpose of facilitating talking about Vanguard. So the alpha, not the alpha, the beta, the open beta for the PlayStation starts this Friday, which is the 10th, and it goes through Sunday morning, the 12th. And <clears throat> and then the following weekend, the early access beta for what pre-orders I think goes live, and then and then like two days after that, it's like the full public beta. So there's gonna be like two weeks, two weekends of betas for Call of Duty Vanguard, which is gonna be awesome. Good news. The rumor is nothing's even official about the Battlefield. Uh, 2042 beta yet, other th other than a rumor that it's going to be the 22nd, which is the which is, is going to be a one day beta. That's like a Wednesday. So I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. It's it's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. You motherfucker. <clears throat> not a good sign from Battlefield that they haven't talked about the beta date yet, and that it's pres presumably going to be within a month of the full release. Yeah, it's just so we'll see we'll see what what that means. Maybe they're just I don't know, playing it cool. I no idea. How the okay. How the fuck did those not kill him? Ugh. I should have put frags on. All right, let's see, let's see how he didn't flinch when I shot him four times. All right, I mean, that shot was on. This game versus Cold War, like, when I get killed like that, I see the kill game, I'm like, you know what, at least he fucking shot me. In Cold War, it always felt like, that guy didn't fucking shoot me at all, and you watch the kill cam, and it's like, yeah, he definitely didn't shoot me. So, Hardpoint is not the way to go today. But, we've talked about it. There's that sniper again. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm excited for Vanguard. I'm, s like... I I'm still significantly more excited for Battlefield 2042. But, 2042 is on an engine. And a gameplay setup I've never played. So, there's still a lot of unknowns for that. These guys, these guys are a coordinated team. They're literally going to let us get some cat points so they can continue to whore kills off us. That might be a guy that's not on their team. Uh. <clears throat> so yeah, there's more unknowns about 2042. I know that Vanguard is built on an engine that I like. It's built on the bones of a system that I already know is awesome. Plus, it's enhanced. Plus, the alpha was just solid. And, yeah, so we'll see more from the beta, but I'm, I'm just confident that Vanguard is just going to be a solid game. Uh, Battlefield, you know. Uh, Battlefield always ends up being pretty damn good, but it doesn't usually come out of the box that way. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what DICE comes up with this time. Now, this thing kills fast or slow. You either kill people immediately or not at all. I mean, I know it's that initial two-round burst that does that, but... Yeah. <laughs> Didn't get any of those sentry guns. Double kill. Oh yeah, they're definitely talking. Ah, oh, fucking mobbed. These guys are super tryhard. Oh. Hopefully they get a little bit uh, too carried away with trying to dominate us in four kills. And they give away the game. Good God, that kind of that kind of try. That's one of the things I'm not looking forward to carrying forward in Vanguard is all this fucking jumping and sliding horse shit. Oh my God. 
It's just, uh, what's that guy's name? Jumps, jumps. Yeah, he's just on fucking 17 sensitivity, letting auto aim do all the work while he leaps around like a fucking chicken. All right, let's. Friendly UAV overhead. Nigga, I'm so cool, nigga. Watch me, nigga. Gotta, gotta love, gotta love the people like that. <laughs> Living that cod life. Well, I am excited. Let me go ahead and go back here. I am excited for Call of Duty Vanguard. The beta, the full game. Um, so, if you guys, uh, Share your thoughts below. Are you excited for Call of Duty? I'm assuming if you watch this video, you at least are somewhat interested <laughs> in Vanguard. Uh, so if you like this video, leave me a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. I know, it's obvious. Subscribe for more stuff if you guys aren't already subscribed. Because I'm awesome, and you should be subscribed. Go ahead, do it. It's right, it's right there. You can, oh, yeah. Oh, you clicked it! Oh, you're the best. If that, if that lined up with what you did, this just made your day. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, goodbye.